Wolfenos, the first 256 gigabyte image that's easily accessible for the Raspberry Pi 4 using the Word Dirty Gaming's new base image. And I have to say, it has a ton of additional options in it. They have, you know, 95% of all the scripts, and they actually have some pretty clutch, you know, pretty, you know, they really got some interesting things on here. Um, and then uh, 256 gigabytes, so this is going to be a huge one, um, but also not too expensive either. Um, you know, the 256, you can get those SD cards for around $40. So, you know, this is over way over 10,000 games, um, way over 20 plus systems, uh, beautiful collections. It's really fast on the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, so all around, a really nice image. It's, it's going to be one of those images that has everything. So for those of you that want specifics, you can you know remove some things. But if you want it all, and you want 12, almost 13,000 titles with a nice base image, the base image is very solid. Um, there's a couple little caveats, a couple little fixes. But uh, in this video, let's go ahead and see exactly what's on it. Talk a little bit about this base image and the options. There is one fix you might want to do. Um, and then uh, I'll share with you my final thoughts. All right, and then we got to do the screensaver fix if you want those to work. Go ahead and go to UI settings, screensaver settings video screensaver settings that you want this on and you want show game never that's it cool so that should fix that i think if you hit yeah select you get little videos you can move around okay yeah if you want to play the game that the screensaver is showing hit start on your controller so select or the timer once you're you know you're on standby it'll show the screensavers, but also when you um, hit start on your when the screensavers do start however they start whether you manually turn them on or they are automatic, you can hit the start button on your controller and it will launch the game as it did here. Cool. So it does have the bezel projects on here as well. So on first boot you will set up your controls. Once your controls are set up and you want to just, you know, get this image to look like your own and do a couple things, the thing I might do is just head over to options. Uh, for example, I am overclocking right now. I'll show you how I did that, did that later in the video. Um, I went ahead and turned off the background music. I'm not a fan. I went ahead and hit start on my controller and fixed the sound settings. I fixed the screen savers. I'll show you that. Um, a couple other things that are common are with the visual tools. The bezel project is already on. Um, Hersty's themes and ES themes, you might want to download some additional themes. This image only has three themes to start, and so you can go ahead and download more. You can also set up the theme randomizer if you want to have like 10 themes and they randomly select one every time you boot your Raspberry Pi up. The other thing is the um, they have a RetroPie shaders on and off if you want shaders on your games or not. That makes it look kind of more old school. Launching screens, so these are the screens when you launch a game. Um, or video, I'm sorry, video loading screens um, is what I want to show you, which is the video that, if you want a video or you just want an image that shows while you're booting up a game. Right now it is enabled and there is a launch video. You can go ahead and customize your own and or turn these off. Um, splash screens, it does have the Wolf and Nose uh, Weird Dirty Gaming splash screen to start and you can easily switch that out. And then you could switch Genesis to Mega Drive if you're on a different um, if you're, you know, in the UK and you prefer Mega Drive, for example, they do have this new fix my build script, kind of like V-Man script. You know, it, it, they can, uh, you can go online, click this, and it'll show you. You can check the weather, you can overclock, you can add emulators, ROMs, all that stuff. It has, uh, it even has the USB ROM script that, um, you know, uh, expand your uh, file system based off the Easy Hacks script. So a lot of stuff and depending on what you want to do it looks like it is here so now all games 13,000 but let's go ahead and look so PlayStation a smaller PlayStation set only 92 
But um, for a 256 gigabyte image, this is where you're gonna want to, um, you know, save some space. So um, if you want, you can add in an external hard drive, use that USB extension and run it off that. Um, you should also, for those of you that are just like super cheap and you wanna go ahead and run this on a hard drive, you can do that as well. So here's the PSP games while I'm talking. Um, I'm sure it's a similar process. I haven't done it for this image yet. So just a few PSP games. Again, these games are huge. You know, for 256 gigabyte, you wanna focus on those retro games. PSP minis, 200. You do have a power script here, but you can also get to that just by hitting start and quit. But it's just a, a shortcut. Ports, you got a lot of ports here. You got, and you also have access to your Pixel desktop here as well. And you have access to your Steam link as well if you wanna stream Steam games. Or you could do it here. Somebody actually asked me in a video, they're like, can I still do Pixel? And that's actually a valid question on the Raspberry Pi 4 because the Raspberry Pi 4 is definitely more of a desktop replacement computer than the Raspberry Pi 3. All right, PC Engine CD-ROM. Again, big games, but some good ones on there. PC Engine 285. Zorik, you got five. Neo Geo Pocket Color, it looks like 40. Looks like a nine too, though. Uh, Nintendo 786. Neo Geo 141, Nintendo DS, so quite a bit of these, 252. Naomi, 56 games. Wow, that is a big Naomi collection. I want to turn that off. See how I, I, um, I, I went in so, so easily. I want to turn quick system select off. Because otherwise you go left and right between systems. So quite a bit of Naomi games. That's cool. I'll have to check some of these out. And Naomi is running pretty good. And I've overclocked my Pi oh, just a slight bit for this video. So we'll see how that runs. N64, all of them. Because Nintendo 64, a lot of them are becoming playable now with better emulator support and a faster Pi. MSX2, 100. Uh, we got Mega Drive, 193 for, it looks like the Japanese. Uh, Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis. So right now it's on Mega Drive. So if you wanted to say Sega Genesis, we would just run that script. So I am in the US, so I like Genesis. So let's go ahead and visual switch it up. All right, so we have now successfully changed it to Sega Genesis and um, 778 games. Sega Master System, 277. Cody. So if you have a four, this is where you might want a four gigabyte um, Raspberry Pi versus the two, you will get way better Cody performance. Uh, Intellivision 133, Game Boy Color 533, Game Boy Advance 1026, Game Boy 557, Game Gear 259, Game & Watch 52, Family Computer Disk System 128, Family Computer 386, Dreamcast 33, 33. And these are gonna run just fine on the Raspberry Pi 4. It runs Dreamcast with a breeze. No issues. So some good games there. Daphne, you got nine games. Coleco, 140. Commodore 64, 64, 69. A Thomas Wave, another cool system. Great graphics. Finally, the Raspberry Pi 4. Can please play them? It's not perfect, but uh, it's getting there. Atari Lynx 83, 7,858, 5,296, 2,600, 630, Arcade 2,049. Does it play Killer Instinct? It ran a lot better than I thought. So, you got the Arcade set. CPC 114, Amiga CD 25, Amiga 626, Beats of Rage, Open Bore. Some cool games in here. You may need a keyboard to set those up. 3DO, 10 games. This is not on a lot of builds. Cool to see that. And then Last Played, Favorites, you can add that. Now here's some collections. I'm just going to skip over these because these are just games, like certain categories of games to just help organize all your games. Light Gun Games, I'll have to check this out. Nice. This is good because I have a... Light gun set up now. Don't worry, video's coming soon. Um, 
ZX Sinclair, 181. Z Machine, you got Zork, 68,000. You got 236. Virtual Boy, 25. Video Pack, 78. Vetrix, 25. TI, 99. 90 games. Turbo Graphics, 16. 95 games, quite a bit. Super Graphics, the typical five. Steam Link, so this is another shortcut. You can also get this through ports. Super Nintendo, 788. SG-1068. Super Famicom, 509. Sega CD, 114. That's quite a set there. Sega 32X, 31. Scum VM, 96 games. So quite a bit of Scum VM as well. And then here we are back into options. Final remarks, Wolfeno is an experienced image creator, brings a lot of his experience to this image, and he said this is his best one yet, and of course it is, because all that experience and all the things he's learned in the past have then been brought into this image. The Supreme Team did a really good job on this base image. The only complaint I have on the base image is that it takes a really long time to boot up, and that, I think, primarily has to do with some of the, the actual like scripts that are being ran when it starts, but also that there's just so many systems and games on this that it has to you know load through all those um the image itself is great i love that it has a thomas wave naomi it has 3do it has um everything all the all the um you know retro systems even atari really like all the scripts that are involved and some of the scripts are pretty advanced like the overclock script and the uh check your temperature script um, and then it's got all the styling things from sound to video um, and everything you could do from your um, controller. The other thing I really liked about this image was it had all the recent cores. It has the correct Nintendo 64 uh, emulator selected. It has the correct ReDream emulator selected for Dreamcast. It has you know the latest version of RetroArch. It has the latest version of RetroPie. So it's got just all the latest and the greatest. So a lot of games that may have not quite have worked in the past or if you're building your own system, you know, you might not be aware of these new emulator cores, but uh, everything's also on Libretro, so all the controls are set up. So overall, it's just a well looked over image, and uh, I was waiting for a 256 gigabyte image. I think that's kind of the sweet spot right now until the 400 and the 512 get a little cheaper for those on a budget. But overall, two thumbs up. My main complaints were the operating system loading, taking a little bit longer to load, and then also there are some games on here that A, just don't run that great yet, 
and I totally understand why he left him on there. He did that on purpose. I'm just saying if I was to be nitpicky, I might delete some of those games if I wanted to save some space for something else. And then the other thing is that there are some racing games and light gun games where you're going to have to go into Retro Arc and you're going to have to set up the pedal for the gas pedal, the steering wheel, and or the light gun. And uh, that's if you have those. Otherwise, you can get your controller to work with that, but, you know, it's not the, the, the best. So, um, But some of you out there have a light gun and have a steering wheel or you're using some sort of setup. So for you people out there, it's gonna be great. So that could be a pro or a con, but I just wanna throw that out there. Now I did wanna show you these scripts that I thought were really cool. The weather script, it tells you the weather around the world when you click it. And then the overclock script and what overclock setting I went with for this video. Anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.